Well, a video cassette delivery boy with no godfather in the film industry to a maverick and stellar 11 time national award winning director. A story that sounds too good to be true, realized by a man of grit, talent, and resolve. May I call on stage Mr. Madhur Bandarkar, director extraordinaire. Thank you, Mother. Now, thank, your you, name, thank you so much. Your name is very synonymous with issue-based filmmaking. What is about this whole realistic style of cinema that appeals to you so much? <clears throat> uh, my first movie was a movie called Three Shakti, uh, which had uh, Milan Gunaji, Arshad Varsi, Sharad Kapoor. So, when I made that movie, people told me you should make commercial cinema. It was in 1997. <clears throat> they said, you should make film which has um, romantic track, action, Alta Raja Kawali, girl in a bikini, everything. So all the element, the masala, which was there. So the movie came and just went off. It took two and a half years, three years in making. By the time the movie got released, the status of my actors in the film, the box office was very bad. <clears throat> and I was a newcomer as a filmmaker. So that film bombed. So. Then I wanted to make something which I felt it, it should uh, make me happy as a filmmaker. I made that movie, Tri Shakti, what other people wanted, what the producers, they wanted, ki, you know, that kind of movie, safe movie, which is a masala film. <clears throat> That's how Chandni Bar was born. And from Chandni Bar to heroine, I think the journey has been absolutely great, great for me. That's true. Looking at your body of work, I mean, like you said, Chandni Bar, Setta, Fashion, Page 3, Corporate, recently Heroine. Where does the inspiration come from? And also, how easy is it for you to make these realistic films without getting into much trouble and ruffling too many feathers? No, no, I do get in trouble. <laughs> but yeah, I think uh, I have a basically a journalist streak in me. I, uh, I observe people a lot. I travel a lot. Uh, I come from a typical middle class family in Mumbai. So as a struggle period, I've seen ups and downs, <clears throat> going in the bars, watching all this dance portions and all and how to make movies and I, li I like to meet people, interact with people. So that's how different, different premise because I think in the society, in our country, there are lots of subjects, lots of uh, uh, things which should come on the film. So people do say Madhur is a topical filmmaker, he makes realistic cinema, hard hitting cinema. <laughs> but I think there's a very good blend between a commercial cinema and an arty cinema, which is the middle of the road cinema, which I say, which does commercially and critically and the national awards, uh, it, it uh, got me those things also with it. So I like to explore. People do say Madhur exposes different, different premise or a traffic signal or a jail or a page three or a Chandni bar. But I feel that I basically explore those kind of things. My movies are not very judgmental. Ke, you know, it, it, sometimes it's very abrupt also. People do have told me about films <clears throat> like corporate and uh, Chandni Bar, which done very well at the box office, people said it is, the end was abrupt, you have not given message. But I think as a filmmaker, <clears throat> I just show this is the thing. It is the audience to decide if they, they like it or they agree or disagree to this, uh, the climax. <clears throat> okay, as you mentioned, this is a very male-dominated, male-centric industry, Bollywood. But you've till date never worked with any of the Khans. And your films always have, more often than not, a centered theme of protagonists being lead strong female characters. Where does that come from? <clears throat> because I think since Chandni Bar, the journey started and uh, it never stopped. I mean, it's Chandni Bar, I mean, Satta, then Page 3, Corporate, uh, Traffic Signal, Fashion, so many movies. So I felt it keep, I'm comfortable. It's, it's nothing like that. Ke, I'm, I'm not a person who will sit across and think, ke, okay, I want to make movie on uh, th uh, with this star or that big actress or anybody. I feel for me the script has to be the first basic. That has to be initially the one thing. Then later I look into the premise, which premise I want to explore and make a movie. Then I decide it's nothing like that. If I have a good subject for any of the uh, stars, so definitely I'll approach. It's nothing like that. I'm, I don't want to work with stars. It is, it's, but the subject has to be which I feel it suits the, the actor and I feel, feel, yeah, this is a subject which I want to make with that particular star. So as a, uh, with actresses, I work with Ravina, Tapu, uh, Priyanka, Bipasha, Karina, all the top actresses I've worked. I'm 
Absolutely. I worked with Ajay and Imran also, Dil To Bachcha, which I did a slice of life, which did very well. So, I want to explore all kinds of cinema. So, I don't want to stick up with Madhu, this tropical filmmaker or hard hitting film. There's nothing like that. I think for me, which what come instantly I want to make. Okay, this is the film. I, I cannot make a film that, okay, this is the actor I'm getting or this is the heroine I'm getting, this is the project, let's make that film. Since heroine, last six, seven, eight months, I have not made any movie. I'm just traveling, reading, watching movies, that's all. So, I'm taking time for my scripting. So, it's nothing like that, that every year you have to make a film. It's nothing like that. It's interesting that you mentioned that. So, it leads me to the next question. What's next now? What can we look out for? What's the new area that's going to get targeted by Madhur Mandarkar? <coughs> Well, there are two, three subjects which I'm working out and um, the next is a middle of the road uh, kind of a film which is uh, a Basu Chatterjee kind of a film which I want to, always wanted to make, like a Bato Bato Mein Choti Si Baat, which I'm doing a film. Uh, still on the scripting stage, but its tentative title is Marjama, which I've kept. So that will be taking place very soon. That's very exciting. I do have a question. There are a lot of young people in the audience here who want to break into the industry but have something unique to contribute. A lot of song programmers, script writers, directors. What would be your advice to them to stay true to their sense and yet manage to bake through the industry? See, one thing is that in industry, uh, uh, I'm being very honest and brutal. It's, it's a very tough line. I mean to say, you know, 99% people uh, doesn't get success over here. Only one person, I think one also my dada will dia. Usse kami people get success. We always look into people who have been successful, who are into stardom, filmmakers, actor, director, producer, actress, everybody. But we don't see the major lot which tried, it didn't happen. So one should be very, very mentally prepared. I always feel that whenever you come in this industry, you should have a second option. There should be a B plan to it. Because otherwise, you, you, you can struggle, you can be here, but it's very, very difficult to get that slot where you want to be. It's very difficult. So you have to struggle a lot. You, you get depressed, you get rattled, you get, uh, you know, completely don't know what to do. So those, those kind of things keep popping up when you are in the industry. So the success ratio is very, very minimal. So one has to be mentally prepared for it. By this is the thing, two years, three years, I'm going to be here. If it doesn't happen, I'm going to move on to this thing or something else. That what, this is my advice. Would you suggest that these young people who are struggling, they follow the conventional route that's being taken up in the industry now and just to get into the industry and then, because a lot of people do that, say at least abhi to break mil jai, then I'll figure out my own route. Or stick true to what they believe in from the very beginning and work towards it. I think one should always work ki what they believe in it. I, was my, like I, my first movie, I've made film what other people wanted to make. But finally, I'm sitting here because of my first movie which got me here. So that is where ki, oh, your, your gut feeling says ki, I want to make this kind of cinema. And the best part today is after so many years we see, today anything is working, everything is working. The best part today, all kind of cinema is working. Is a big star cinema, a small star cinema, or a medium budget cinema. Audience are going to the theater, flocking to the theater, they're watching the movie. That is the best part. This 2013 especially, if you see, the big star movie are doing very well. Small star film, you have very relatively new people done very well at the box office. So I think that is a very good sign for the film industry and for the new makers and for, for the writers, everybody, ki you can experiment different, different kind of subject, different, different kind of topics. Today, the time is there. It is not like that. Ki you, you, but the only thing, obviously, you have to make a film in that budget which gives the right perspective to the film. You've managed to rope in actors who actually managed to play themselves. You know, you have the style of exposing Bollywood through Bollywood, exposing the fashion industry, and actually managing to get real models to walk. How did you manage to get them who are so protective, and it's a very close-knit protective society. How did you manage to get them involved in your projects? Uh, and show the darker side of the project. I mean, because they know the kind of cinema I make. Whoever working with me, they know if I'm exploring any kind of subject, they know he's going to show the underbelly of it. So they're mentally prepared. If it's a, like I said, a page three or a corporate or a traffic signal or a fashion or a film industry heroine. So they know about it. Ke Madhur ka, this is the Madhur's USP. People want to see Madhur Bhandarkar, how he shows the nitty gritty, the inside view point of view, the ringside view basically of the people. So they know about it. Ke they are mentally prepared when doing a film with me. I'm just going to have one last question. Like I said, you don't have a, you, you came from a humble background. 
I don't even think you've studied too much. You don't have a strong educational background. And you make unconventional films. What is your success mantra? I think just believe in yourself and um, what you want to do, you have to do it. That, that is the thing. And like I said, film industry, it is there. You have to just be here, keep making movies. And uh, I think one should, for my thing is like that, I am very grounded in my life. I am not, uh, because the film industry is a very different world. It's, it's, I always say it's quite superficial, it's sometimes very void also. So you have to be grounded, you have to check reality basis when you're in the industry. Otherwise, this industry can intoxicate you in a different manner. So you have to be very grounded and you should know exactly what you're doing. That is for me, that is, I, I'm, I'm still a guy, basic, if I like to eat a vada pav, I go and eat. I have nothing bombs about that. I, if a driver doesn't come, I still take auto and go. So I'm cool about it. So these, these are the basic things that's very necessary for you. Thank you so much. I'll now open the floor to the audience. We'll take one or two questions. Just one question. Bhandarkar sahab, I will ask you in Hindi. Yes, 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 I will ask you in Hindi. You are a very good person in a Madhya Bharga family, a Bharatiya cinema. So, is there a thing, a event, a circumstance that has motivated you? That you have become a Madhya Bharga family from a Bharatiya cinema. What do you want to share? Look, there are some things that I have done in my motivation. The first thing is that there is a very, 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 बहुत ही बहुत ही गरीब खानदान से मैं निकला हूँ मुंबई में और एक ऐसा टाइम था जब पढ़ाई भी नहीं की मैंने छठवीं के बाद मैंने कभी स्कूल का शक्ल नहीं देखी मैंने क्या होता है वीडियो कैसेट का एक जो व्यवसाय मैंने किया थोड़े दिनों के लिए लेकिन ऐसी चीजें होती लेकिन पहली पिक्चर जो मेरी खास करके मैंने त्रि शक्ति के बाद एक ऐसा झटका लगा इंडस्ट्री का मुझे पता नहीं था शायद इसलिए लोग कहते कि मधुर बहुत ग्राउंडेड या बहुत रियलिटी में रहता है वो इसलिए रहता है क्योंकि मुझे लगा कि ये इंडस्ट्री किस तरह की जो तो त्रि शक्ति और चांदनी बार के बीच में जो सवा साल का जो पीरियड था कई बार ऐसे होता था कि मुझे पता नहीं था मैं इंडस्ट्री कई लोगों ने बोला कि आप तो रामगोपाल के असिस्टेंट थे आप वहाँ पे वापस से चले जाइए किसी ने बोला कि आप मस्कत दुबई में जाके नौकरी कीजिए ऐसी कई चीज़ें हुई है कहीं ने बोला और कुछ प्रोडक्शन में जाइए ऐसे जैसे इंडस्ट्री में हमारे सलाह देने वाले बहुत होते हैं इस तरह के सलाह बहुत आते हैं तो मुझे ऐसा लगा कहीं जगह पार्टी में भी जब मैं जाता था तो मुझे बुलाया नहीं जाता था लेकिन मैं किसी छोटे मोटे सेक्रेटरी के साथ ऐसा पकड़ के मैं चला जाता था तो कई बार होता था फोटो में कि मैं खड़ा हूँ तो फोटोग्राफर हटा जाता चलो हटो पीछे से यार जाओ बोल के तो इस तरह की चीज़ें काफ़ी जो मैंने पेज में डाली है ये काफ़ी चीज़ें जो उसमें डाली है तो मुझे वो चीज़ें देखने को बहुत ही बहुत अच्छा लगा जो सवा साल जो मेरा लाइफ का स्ट्रगल किया वो चीज़ों वो चीज़ों को मैंने अच्छी तरह से देखा मैंने कहीं ऐसे बट दिग्गज फिल्म मेकर दिग्गज एक्टर देखे जो उसका सेवेंटी में बहुत जलवा था लेकिन एक ऐसा टाइम आया कि उनको मैंने देखा अवार्ड फंक्शन में पंद्रहवें रो में बैठे हुए तो मैंने मैंने कई बार ऐसा लगा मुझे मैं ये क्या देख रहा हूँ यार ये तो कल हमारे साथ भी हो सकता है तो कई ऐसी चीज़ें देखने के बाद मुझे लगा कि अपना जो काम करो इंडस्ट्री में इंडस्ट्री मेरे लिए एक व्यवसाय है काम करिए आप आगे जाइए आप डिटैच होकर रहिए आप इसके साथ अटैच होकर तो बहुत ही आप भूल भुलैया है भटकते रहोगे इसमें Thank you so much, Madhur, for your time. It's been wonderful. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.